Hillary with County Saddlery, Texas and 214 Saddles. And I'm here today to talk about the steps of saddle fitting. So it's important to always start with your horse standing somewhere level and safe and on even ground with his foreleg standing square and his head facing straight ahead. Uh, this way you'll get an accurate idea of how your saddle's fitting. First step, you're going to take your saddle. We're not going to use a saddle pad. We're just going to put the saddle straight on the horse's back. And we'll lift it up here. And you start with placing it a little bit in front of the withers. And we're going to slide the saddle back into position. So we do that a couple of times, pressing down and back at the same time to find the place where the saddle naturally wants to come to rest, which is dictated by the horse's conformation. So we'll do this a couple times and see where it wants to stop. And it usually comes to stop and rest in the same place every time. From there, we want to check our pommel or we'll check for clearance from the withers. Uh, this one's a little bit close. This is a wide tree. Um, there should be adequate maintainable clearance between the horse's withers and the pommel of the saddle. You don't want that to come pressing down on their spine. Um, and then if it's too narrow, it's going to be sitting up way too high. So a general rule is about two to three fingers width or maintainable clearance. Uh, from there, we'll check the front panels and the points of the tree. This is the angle of the points. So underneath here, when you lift up the sweat flap, there'll be a little pocket. This one doesn't show it very well because it's got uh, Velcro knee blocks, but this right here is going to be the point pocket. On other saddles you'll see a little stitching right there. And this is where the end points of the tree are. So the tree come down either side of the saddle. So we want to check the angle of those points by running our hand straight underneath this panel. Come here buddy. And we want to check and feel for uniform contact and no pressure points running down the front of the saddle there. If the, if the tree's too narrow, you're going to feel a little pressure point, and if it's too wide, you'll feel a bit of a gap. But you want to feel uniform contact, and generally the angle of the point should be within 10 degrees of the horse's shoulder. Um, our next step from there is I'll stand back and take a look at the saddle. We want to see that the deepest part of the seat is in the center. So that means the balance of the seat and the balance point. So if the saddle is out of balance, it might look like this, and that's where the deepest part, the balance point, will be forwards. If the pommel was too high, it'll look like this, where the balance point of the seat is going to be towards the rear of the seat. So we want to find the deepest part of the seat at right in the middle of the saddle there, so that you'll be in balance with the saddle when you're riding. 